Hello and welcome back to another episode of Bish Bash and you've got it, Bodge. Today's special episode is Bodge has got your back. Hey Bodge, I have a question all the way from America in the great state of North Carolina. I have recently been doing some decorating in my house and I forgot to clean my paintbrushes. So I was wondering if y'all had any tips for how to remove dried on paint from paintbrushes because I would love to keep the ones that I have. Thanks. Well, hello, Miss Carolina. Thank you for sending in your video. So I'm going to show you today how to clean a dry brush. Oh, these. Some 100% British apples and they have to be British. That's going to go straight in there. A little bit of red wine vinegar. That's going to go straight in there. Dr. Beckman's toilet cleaner, power foaming. Right now stand back because this might explode. Oh, oh, see that? Just make sure you're near the, wait, oh, uh, yeah. So just make sure this is over near the sink as that is obviously going to give a chemical reaction. Uh, it should be wearing PPE for this. Just make sure you got your rubber gloves on. All right, wait there. Oh, just get it on. Okay, let's get that down in there. And you want to leave that for about an hour. Oh, starting to smell like rotten eggs. Got to back away from that. <coughs> and just let that do its work. <coughs> See how we're getting on. So, uh, literally, if you can see, the um, all the foam is out the jar. And if you look, literally clean as a whistle you look at that see that and it practically looks brand new almost as if it's just been taken out of the packet bish bash and you got it bodge now next we have joe who runs the queen's head in brid in yorkshire hello there everybody we're getting closer to opening now. Now we've got a date we can open outside, middle of April, so we're busy. We've got to get the picnic benches going, the walls, all the woodwork, the stage behind. So if anyone's got any advice on how to do up the picnic benches, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Well, Joe, you've come to the right man. budget has got your back. Now I like to use Ron Seal One Coat Fence Life. Literally does what it says on the tin. One coat. Just get your brush and you wanna splish, splash, and then splodge. So you splish, you splash, and you splodge. Splish, splash, splodge. And there you go, Joe. If you splish it, splash it, and splodge it, five minutes later, you'll have a complete fence. And the last clip is from Will from Worthing, who's showing us his new home. As you can see, I've got two cupboards under the stairs. And I've got this. Now, now when they showed us around, I was pretty sure they said that was a uh, storage for shoes. And as you can see, I'm kind of struggling for shoe storage at the moment. So, my question is, what sort of advice would you have for maybe popping this out? Well, Will from Worthen, as you can see, this is your door. So first off, I'd put a hinge here and here. So let me show you how that would look. There we go. Hinge at the top, hinge at the bottom. Then. 
and not. And here we go, Will, just for you. Bish, bash, and you got it. Bodge. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed another episode of Bish, Bash, and Bodge. Bodge has got your back today. Now, three things that you need to take away for today is number one, Miss Carolina, step back. There's going to be a chemical reaction. Number two, Joe, splish it, splash it, and splodge. And number three, Will from Worthing, don't forget to add a doorknob.